Jane Slightly Leach here. I thought I would put together some videos for you um, as part of an online membership that I'm uh, putting together. So um, I wanted to run through a few little options and things that you will be able to tap into um, as part of your membership. So what I wanted to do first of all was um, create some basic tapping videos that you can watch um, at your leisure and you can come back to as and when you need to to refresh yourself and uh, maybe top up on the work that we've done in your sessions and that you can just you know do at your own pace so I thought what I would do first of all is run through uh, as a reminder because I know that we've already we've already worked together uh, you already know the technique but sometimes it can be a little overwhelming or hard to remember or you know you may forget one or two aspects or points or um, just a little refresher to uh, to jog your memory and get you back into keeping going with this technique as an everyday tool to um, to regulate and manage your stress and your emotional states and um, and and keep your day balanced. So going back to the points side of the hand, top of the head, corner of the eyebrow corner of the eye, underneath the eye, underneath the nose, chin point, collarbone, underneath the arm, and on the fingers holding your hand up with the thumb pointing up, on the corner of the nail bed, that's uppermost, and you can pinch your fingers like that if you like. All the way down across your fingers. So they're the basic tapping points. So if you remember what we usually do is we state the problem, we um, think about what it is that we want to tap on. I'll use general anxiety as the example and um, because I think you know coming back to anxiety is pretty much a thing that um, we can pretty much suffer with every day. I certainly do suffer with it at times. And um, but going going into general anxiety, if you can relate it to something particular that, that you're anxious about, um, whether it be going to a meeting or um, starting something new or having to speak to someone about something that might not necessarily be the best, you know, most um, enjoyable subject, um, you know, anything you like really that you feel anxious about. Uh, quite often we feel anxious about things unnecessarily, you know, if we've got that future focus, we're anxious about what might happen. Um, not necessarily about something that we know is going to happen. It's you know it's that it's that sense of uncertainty that that causes anxiety much of the time. So if that's the case, focus on even though I am anxious about what's going to be happening, but I don't know for sure. You know, we'll start with something like that. So um, let's let's just jump in and start, hey? Let's just jump in and start. So rate the level of anxiety out of ten. So if it's extreme, if you're extremely anxious about it, this whatever this thing is, we'll we'll mark it up there in the eight to ten range, maybe. Uh, but if it's sort of a mid range, just feel into it and um, and just give it a rating out of ten in in its intensity. So zero being non-existent, 10 being unbearable. So get your rating, just keep it in mind. Write it down if you need to. Now feel into where this sense of anxiety about this thing is, whatever it might be. Where is it sitting in your body? Generally we can feel our emotions. It's not all in here much of the time. We 
where is it in your body? Sometimes if it's something to do with speaking, it can be in your throat. You have to say something to somebody. It could be in your throat. You might feel a restriction there. Um, if, say, for instance, you have got to do a public speaking thing or you have to, you know, stand up and say how you performed in something or you have to give an acceptance speech or something like that. It could be sitting up around here. Yeah. Or it could be down here or in the pit of your stomach even. Yeah. Get a little bit of a feel into where it is. Maybe take a minute or so to just breathe and see and feel where it feels most intense. With this feeling, if you can get a sense of, if it were to have a colour, what would that colour be? Would it be blue, green, yellow? It might not be any colour, it doesn't really matter. But sometimes it does, you do can have a sense that it has a colour, and colour carries energy too. So there's a lot of psychology around the meaning of, of colour. So that could be an indication of uh, another type of communication and language coming in to represent what this feeling means to you. So this is all about receiving the messages about, you know, what does this, what does this feeling and what does this potential situation that you're anxious about mean to you on a deeper level. So get a sense of its colour and go a little bit further. Get a sense of whether it has a density, whether it's thick or heavy or slimy or runny or wispy, whether it has a shape. Some people can feel something like, it feels like a ball in my stomach, something like that. So get a sense of what that might be as well. So what we're doing is we're trying to get as much of a sense of an identity of this feeling as possible. Because what we're aiming to do is to present to our unconscious mind, our subconscious mind, that this feeling is not an intrinsic part of who we are. It's not part of our being. It's not part of us. Reason being is because your subconscious will do everything it can to protect you. It's not going to let something go if it believes it's an intrinsic part of who you are, part of your identity. So we, what we want to do is we want to separate this sense of anxiety, this particular feeling that we want to work on and release. We want to separate it from our true self and give it its own identity, identify it, give it its own traits and, and, um, and identifying factors as much as we possibly can. So, you know, it's, a, it's a, a blue sense of anxiety that's spiky in my stomach, in something along those lines. So it's, it's almost got its own identity. It's, so it's, it's easier to work on. We can focus on it, we can see it, we can feel it, we can understand how it operates and how it moves. So once we have all of that, we can start tapping. So, remembering your setup phase, identifying the problem and speaking it out loud and um, letting the subconscious know that this is what we want to work on and we're ready to do this. Okay, so let's start. Tapping on the side of the hand. Even though, and I will go with how I feel anxiety in my body and you relate it to how you feel it in your body. Even though I have this yellow sense of anxiety in my stomach, I love and accept right where I'm at with this. I fully accept myself and who I am. You can... Rearrange that phrase any, any way you like. The traditional way of saying it is, even though I have this yellow sense of anxiety in my stomach, 
I love and accept myself anyway. I'm perfectly okay with saying that. Some people just doesn't sit well with them. So however you want to phrase it, I love and accept myself. I fully accept where I'm at with this. I'm okay. However you want to phrase it is fine. So do this three times, remember, two or three times. Even though I've got this yellow sense of anxiety in my stomach, feels kind of squishy. I love and accept myself anyway. Top of the head. This anxiety. This anxiety. Bring in about what it's relating to. This anxiety about making videos. <laughs> All this anxiety in my stomach. All this anxiety. My bracelet's clicking. Mm. All this anxiety. This yellow anxiety. Sitting in my stomach. So anxious about making these videos. <sighs> Been wanting to do them for ages. All this anxiety. All this anxiety. Anxiety in my stomach. Anxiety in my stomach. <sighs> All this anxiety. This anxiety in my stomach. This yellow, squishy feeling in my stomach. Been wanting to do this for so long. Blocking myself. <laughs> See? Happens to all of us. <laughs> all this anxiety. There's anxiety in my stomach. Ooh, this one. Making videos. Scary stuff. Been putting it off. I have. <laughs> all this anxiety. All this anxiety. Anxiety in my stomach. This yellow, squishy feeling in my stomach. It was also in my throat. Those aspects around speaking. Hmm. This anxiety. I am safe. This anxiety. <laughs> Choosing now to let this anxiety go. I am in control. It's my choice. I am safe. safe to release this anxiety. I'm safe. <sighs> okay, just check in with how that feels. Now I feel a big release around my throat and in my stomach and I feel much more relaxed. So <laughs> sharing this with you really hot day too or am I just sweating <laughs> so check in with yourself and check into that level of distress that mark out of 10 that you gave that so for me that was probably up there at about a seven I mean I do I do talk you know a fair bit but I've had some some real blocks around starting this video series, so you know, this is my little this is my little foray into it. <sighs> Take a couple of nice deep breaths. My rating has gone down to probably maybe a four. So I'm going, I'm going to go and do a, bit, a little bit more. 
just rate where you're at and we'll continue. So we, we focus mostly on the negative aspects of the anxiety and how it felt and where it was in your, in your, in your body. So we can go a little bit further into the release process, the next, the next phase, um, in, in, the next, in the next little bit. So it's a three-phase process. So we have your setup, the negative uh, release, and then we start to refocus into, into something positive, or the actual release process, that, so the positive aspects, I suppose you could call it. Okay, so let's get started with that. Back to the top of the head. All this anxiety. This anxiety remaining. It's moved, it's moved from my stomach, sort of, to my upper chest. This remaining anxiety. And it's now turned more greenish. You get a sense of what it is for you just focus in and tune into what it is for you because the most important part of this is is your process and whatever is 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 there for you is you know, that's what needs to be expressed for you to actually get the most benefit out of it so as i'm talking just keep on focusing on what it is for you that's really important okay anxiety in my upper chest. This feeling of anxiety in my upper chest. As I'm talking on video. You can expand on the reasons you're anxious. You know, more into more into the the, the wider aspects. So feeling anxious about these videos going public. Who might see them? How I might be judged? All of this anxiety. All of this anxiety. So is it really about making videos? Or is it more about being judged? Anxiety about being judged putting my face on video feels risky. You can start to feel into some of the underlying, not quite so obvious things that are going on in the background underneath this anxiety. What does it really mean? For me, putting my face on a video and sending it out public really does mean that I feel exposed. I feel exposed. I could be judged. How will that feel? It's a bit worrying. I feel nervous. Putting my face out there To be judged. What if someone doesn't like it? What if someone challenges me? All this anxiety in my chest. This anxiety in my chest. You may feel like you need to yawn or take a deep breath as the energy leaves your body. That's what we're aiming for. You might even burp or you might want to stretch. You might want to move around. Get a sense of where the energy is in your body, whether it's moving, shifting around. All this anxiety. Let's go back to that anxiety. All this anxiety in my body, in my chest. I definitely felt it leave my throat. 
this anxiety around feeling being exposed, being out there publicly, my face on a video. <laughs> All this anxiety. What if I were challenged? What if I were judged? Could I handle that? What if I helped people? What if putting my face out there and doing videos helps someone? How would that feel? I think that would feel pretty good. All this anxiety. <sighs> With anxiety, much of what the issue is around is feeling safe. Feeling safe and it being time to actually do something to relieve yourself of, of these feelings. Because, you know, long term these feelings can cause some quite significant long-term issues um, chronic chronic stress chronic anxiety your body um, your body adjusts to you know living in, in those states for a long time it becomes your permanent way of operating and that leads to all kinds of other you know challenges physical illnesses um, ways of thinking limiting yourself, operating from a state of fear, being generally unhealthy. Stress sits at, and anxiety sits at the core of many things, many, many quite major um, life-changing illnesses. <sighs> I'm feeling a lot lighter. All of this anxiety that was in my upper chest, it now feels freer. It feels like I can swallow. It feels like I can breathe better. How's it feeling for you? Check in with yourself. How's that number now? I think I'm down to about a two. I'm feeling better. Way better. <laughs> Way better. Okay, it's safe to release this anxiety now. I'm safe. Choosing to let this go. Choosing to allow myself to be free, to make videos and speak. Feel safe. I'm in control. It's my choice to do this. And it's safe. Safe. Releasing it now. Releasing all of that anxiety from my body. So it is. Okay, how do you feel? You can make notes if you want to. Um, it's always good to keep a little journal about these um, these little mini sessions that you do um, on your own because there's a, there is a lot that you can shift and change just by yourself. And you know, one of the main things that that I like to get across in the work that I do with people is that you are fully in control of your emotional state. You don't 
necessarily need a practitioner to get through your day-to-day -day stuff. Um, I'm putting on my website some downloadable sheets that you can go to go to the website and uh, find the downloads page and there will be uh, a few little guides that, that you can you can use to tap along to as well. Um, if you've worked with me recently you probably have the, um, the workbook uh, that is um, authored by Peter Stapleton so um, everyday guide to stress and anxiety relief keep working through that if you have a copy if you don't have a copy um, you will be able to um, I'm going I'm to make sure that you can order them through the website as well pretty soon a uh, few changes happening a few things going on so um, keep on tapping keep on you know um, feeling into every day what your emotional state is and keep you know regulating and um, working on those stress points and those triggers and um, even if you don't have anything obvious and specific you can always just have like if you have a five minutes just you know being with yourself just 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 tap on your points without even saying anything and um, see how your body changes. It's a really good little tool to just play with and experiment with. So please feel free to give me a call if you have any questions or drop me a message on Facebook. We're probably mostly connected on Facebook. And um, I'll <laughs> see you in the next video. <laughs>